Celia. I'm the uh, acquisitions manager at the Clinton Macomb Public Library. Um, so I started out as a librarian in the popular materials department and then transitioned over into this role uh, where I lead the cataloging department and also do a bunch of other things. <laughs> um, but today we're going to be talking about cataloging process. So cataloging is the process of building records um, that go into our library catalog. And the reason we have those records is so that people can find our materials more easily through the catalog by searching for them. And we have a way of organizing those materials. And uh, cataloging has been around since libraries have. It's definitely changed um, in some ways and then hasn't changed in other ways. The MARC records that we use, which is a machine readable format, they have been around for a very long time. Um, so that's, they change very, very slowly. Um, so a lot of the stuff we're doing seems like an older process uh, with some new updates to it. vendors. There are vendors who specifically sell to libraries, all libraries across the country. So we, our primary um, vendors that we get from who sell us our materials are, um, we've got Baker and Taylor who does books. We have Midwest Tapes. They do all sorts of media. And then we also buy books from Ingram as well. And so those are all three big companies and then we also purchase from smaller bookstores and smaller vendors uh, to fill in the collection gaps as we need to. So the first part is a librarian. Each of the librarians have a different part of the collection that they're responsible for ordering, spending money, um, and purchasing new materials for. So they place their orders. Uh, once they come in, then we take that over. So we get our deliveries every day pretty much. We get things that definitely during the week we get our boxes delivered. And we have some systems set up through our um, computer system, uh, through our integrated library system, where we can find out which of those materials coming in have holds on them and which ones are already in our catalog. And we sort out our materials based on those kind of categories that we've made. So we have our holds shelf and those are ones we really want to prioritize and get out to people really fast. And then the ones that are already in our system, those can go off to the side because they will be much faster. A buggy is our term that we came up with that uh, is for something that is already in our catalog and we're just adding another copy to it. The reason we separate those out is the record itself is already done. We just have to add that spine label and make sure it's going to the right location and you know add a new sticker to it. So it's much faster to do a duplicate record or a buddy record. Um, so that's that's something that we did to help expedite our process of getting through the shelves. <laughs> After that, it goes to our processors and our processing pages, they um, add all of the barcode stickers, they um, stamp the books with our library name on them, um, they add all sorts of stickers when it's a media item, so the, the fine stickers and the if there's a problem with this, please write something here stickers. So they take care of all that. And then they add it onto our shelf that's ready for the catalogers. So the catalogers take each item down and they scan the ISBN to find out um, if we have the record in our system. And then they look for same item um, in another system to find a better record, essentially. Because um, what we get is we get something that comes straight from our vendors, which they are okay, but they're not great, and we want to add some more information. For example, they don't usually have a description of the material of the book. Um, they might be missing things like the page count um, and they might be missing some of the publication information. So we try to gather all that so then when you look up, I'm looking for, for example, 
The Great Gatsby, we just got another copy in of that, but this one's a graphic novel. So we want to make sure that if you're looking for The Great Gatsby graphic novel, you can find that version instead of trying to find the first edition or the tenth edition or the annotated edition or whatever other one that you're looking for. Uh, so we find the record in another system and then we combine it with ours um, and that's why what we do is called copy cataloging. We take somebody else's record and use it for ours. Originally cataloging, everyone was writing new records um, and if you look at it, they're all encoded so they all have different numbers related to different information in our library catalog. So it took a lot of work for each book and each material um, and people would be writing whole new records. So sharing them goes a lot faster for us and then gets things out faster for our uh, customers. So once we have taken the record and we look through all the different parts in the record that we check, double check to make sure it's got the right information and it matches the book that we have. We make sure it's saved in our system. We add the final touches, um, add the spine label, new sticker, give it a stamp, and then it can be ready to go out on the shelf. Um, so yeah, if it's, if it's new, then our sortation machine sends it to the new shelf. If it's going to a branch, it sends it to the branch. Um, so yeah, we we mostly, in normal times, we put it on our machine, our sortation machine, and then it sends it to where it needs to go. Um, right now, it's a little bit more complicated. We have to hand check them in um, and um, make sure that they are uh, quarantined appropriately before we send them out to the shelf. So every once in a while, somebody will order something and it's hard to tell when you're like looking at our bookseller website. So looking at like Baker and Taylor, sometimes it's hard to tell what size things are and it will end up being very different than what you thought it would be or you kind of skim over the dimensions of the book because I can never visualize dimensions of a book. so. I fall into this issue all the time. One time we got a book that came in its own box and was about this big and weighs, <laughs> weighs a lot. Um, and that was our uh, Rihanna photo book. It's um, all, all pictures of Rihanna and it's an enormous book. You can still check it out. It's in our catalog, it's under Rihanna. And uh, we had to carry it around and show everyone because it's just such an enormous book that again, we're like, I don't, I don't know where this is going to go. When everything is flowing well and we haven't been close for a few months, we tend to get books before they are released. So a lot of the big release day is Tuesdays for most people, um, except for James Patterson, who released some Mondays. Um, and then there's some other ones that'll occasionally release on a different day, but Tuesday is release day. And so when we get a book, if it hasn't been released yet, it'll tell us what date we can put it out on. And uh, we we're not we can't put it out before its actual release date. Um, and that's something that not just us, but um, booksellers also deal with is, you know, want to make sure it goes out at the same time for everyone. Um, it doesn't always work out that way with the recent Handmaid's Tale sequel, The Testament. There was a whole big kind of scandal where Amazon actually shipped out the pre-orders ahead of time. So anyone who had pre-ordered the testaments on Amazon got their book before um, everyone else who was waiting for the release dates. So I know the booksellers in particular were pretty unhappy about that because um, they, you know, they weren't supposed to release it then. Every once in a while there's like very serious release dates that you cannot violate or you would risk getting in trouble. For example, with the Harry Potter books, um, when those came in ahead of the release date, we actually had to sign something and keep them hidden <laughs> until the release date. That doesn't happen very often because it takes some effort on the publisher's part to, uh, to coordinate something like that. But with Harry Potter, because so many people were trying to leak it and get their hands on it ahead of time, um, yeah, we had to keep, keep a close eye on all of our book copies. 
um, so that they did not go out until the actual release date. So yeah, that's kind of um, fun facts about cataloging. We love it. It's very interesting to us. It's one of those things that gets very nerdy and technical and we really enjoy doing it. Thank you so much for watching. I am Celia from the Clinton McComb Public Library. Um, we hope to see you soon, either in the building or if you want to get some materials. Um, our curbside pickup is still available, as are all of our great digital resources, which you can find out more about um, through our website. If you have any other questions or comments about the library, you can leave them in the comments.